in the morning. You can call it late in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. Y'all pray for us. Y'all pray for me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to live the life that I sing about in my song. If I keep a faith, he'll take me home. Triumph may come on every hand. Sometimes my friends don't understand. I'm gonna live the life that I sing about in my song. I'm gonna live the life I sing about. Spirit 
from the thoughts God's health care plan. Yeah. Okay. God's health care plan. Yeah. Now, 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 whether or not you've been listening to the news or watching things going on, amen. We see that because of hatred, because the president is the wrong color, and we see that the government has shut down because of Obama again. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I wonder how long will the government be down if President Obama said he was going to cut off pay money? I wonder how long will the government be down if millions of the folks that have, that, that they lost their job but they just ain't getting paid. But if he said that he was going to stop the pay of the House and of the Congress, I wonder would government be up tomorrow. Oh, right. Amen. But, but as we look at this thing today, we have to see and ask you a question. Have you ever had a nervous stomach <laughs> or anxiety that made you physically ill? Right. Yeah, have stress ever came into it, your life to make you seem as though ailments come up over you overnight. Right. Stress can cause a person uh, to get physically sick, yes, physically dying. Yes. Cause them to go to the doctor and the doctor will say, I can't find nothing. Yes, sir. All right. yeah. And then the doctor will come to the conclusion that you are under a lot of stress. Yeah, so he'll give you a diagnosis of sitting down doing nothing. Relaxing for a couple of days. Yeah, until you get that thing out of your head. Yeah, but when we look at all the health care plans, we see that God's health care plan has a lot to do with how we live. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your body is affected by your spirit and both of them, body and spirit, are closely related and they can catch one another's diseases. Right. Yeah, you know if you were sitting in this sanctuary here today and somebody started coughing too much. Oh, they started to sneeze and they didn't cover up their mouth. Some of y'all started talking to the other side. Because in your mind, you think that if I sit by them long enough, I'll catch what they got. And the cause is already in your head and you already predestined that you were going to catch it, you'll start wiping your nose. You'll start to sneeze it. You start to sniffling. Yep. And man, and don't let somebody go to the hospital. We tend to think that bad health is the result of sin. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I come out to tell you here today that, that it isn't. But in this case, in David's case, All right. it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, when we get to the text here this morning. David has a laundry list of things yes, needed to be made right as a result of his sin. Right. And he encloses how it is committed, confessed, and clean. Yes, sir. Yeah, firstly, when we look at sin, sin committed affects our health. Uh -huh. Yeah, if we use three words here this morning, we can look at transgression. Okay. Transgression is crossing the line. All right. Yes, God drew a line in the sand. Uh -huh. And David crossed it. All right. Yes, secondly, that is iniquity. Mm. Iniquity is twisting or misshapen it. Uh -huh. Yeah, David twisted sex into something ugly with Bathsheba. All right. All right. Yeah, thirdly, we look at the word sin. Sin is missing the mark. Right. And David was guilty as charged by David. Right. Yes, David was truly sorrowful mm -hmm. in this psalm of his adultery with Bathsheba. Uh -huh. Yeah, for murdering her husband. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he knew his actions had hurt many people. Uh -huh. Yeah, but David repented of those sins. Uh -huh. Yeah, and God mercifully forgave him. Uh -huh. God can and will forgive us. Uh -huh. But he doesn't always erase those consequences of our sin. Uh -huh. Yeah, and David's life and his family were never 
his sins and what he had done behind his sins. Secondly, sin affects our health when we confess it. Yeah, acknowledging David, acknowledging his transgressions. Yeah, he acknowledged uh, that his heart, his bones, and his spirit needed to be healed. Uh -huh. David admitted uh, that he was sinful from birth. Uh -huh. And against God, he had done evil. Uh -huh. Yeah, although David had sinned with Bathsheba, uh -huh. but David had sinned also against God. Uh -huh. Yeah, when someone steals, murders, or slanders, it is against someone else. Uh -huh. It's against a victim. Yeah, according to the world's standards. Yeah, extramarital sex or extramarital affair between consent to consenting adults is acceptable if no one gets hurt. Yeah, but how many of you that they that know that people get hurt? Yeah, 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 yeah people. Get feelings caught up. Yeah, yeah people get in the mood. And I heard my son one day say that people are acceptable mm -hmm. to living together now. Uh -huh. Yeah, we say that no one gets hurt, but somebody's going to get hurt. Uh -huh. People watching us, mm -hmm. our youth watching us, mm -hmm. and we tell them that it's okay to shake. <laughs> oh, that's an old word. Let me bring it to the first century. It's okay to live again. Oh, it's okay to test out the wall. Yeah, but let me tell you something. You're not only sinning against your own body, but you're sinning against God. Yeah, yeah. And we have to look at this team in David's case. Yeah, David had a man murdered. Yeah, and the baby died. Yeah, but if the body is 
You ain't got to pay a deductible. Because God already paid the price. Come on, Calvary. All right, Jesus. Yeah, on that all right, cross. He paid the price uh, for you and I today. In this health care plan. Oh, you ain't got to have no free consisting injuries. Why? Because we all been born in sin. We were all set in iniquity. But God looked me up. He said, you ain't got to come to me, but I'll make households. And if you're here to knocking at your door, why don't you open up and let me in? I'm so glad here today that one Thursday night, I heard him make a household to my house. And when I opened up, he came in. That's the best move. Yeah. <laughs>